Hey guys, Dave here. So CES 2020 just started and Nvidia just unveiled something very, very interesting for us VR users and it's called VRSS and it's something that will unlock the 8x or the 4x capabilities in super sampling on our current generation graphic cards. How does it work? How to enable it? What to expect from the future? Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so it's not the first time that we talk about super sampling, the ability to increase the resolution on our panels directly to make the clarity much, much better on our VR headsets. Even if usually we don't go over really the 2X because the hit in performance will be too much to handle, even for the highest grade graphic cards that we have right now on the market, like the 2080 Ti, the RTX 2080 Ti. Also, it's not the first time that we talk about fixed for the other rendering. The ability to divide the resolution in base of the FOV to have a higher resolution in the center and a lower resolution on the side to actually save some of those performances that will you use with the super sampling. Or in a case like the Oculus Quest, the standalone device, the ability to use better games because we actually put the resolution needed in the center and we have a decrease in resolution on the very edges that is not that noticeable for the normal user, but that saves up to the 20% in performance. So if we put these two together, we have what is pretty much the VRSS, that is not virtual reality super sampling, but is variable rate super sampling that it uses. The FOV shading in the same way of the fix for the other rendering. So having a resolution in the middle different from the resolution on this side, but at this time without decreasing the resolution on the outside, but actually increasing the resolution in the middle. So why it's so useful? Well, when you use super sampling, usually you have a big drop in performances because the resolution goes out exponentially. Instead here, you can contain this performance drop because you have an 8x maybe just in the very middle of your view and in the opposite would keep the same resolution. That means that you have a better detail with objects, interactions that happens in front of you, and all the other part will be pretty much exactly the same as it was before with a 1x super sampling. So it's a win-win situation in the way. And the cool thing is that this driver is pretty much ready for every game. Developers don't have to touch their game to use the variable rate super sampling, but it's all baked in in the NVIDIA drivers. To enable it, you have, of course, to download the latest drivers on the GeForce Experience or directly from the website, and then go on the control panel on the virtual reality settings and enable it on automatic or on force on. NVIDIA itself suggests to put it on adaptive instead of always on, because in that way, you're not gonna have always the hit on performance if it doesn't reach the 90 Hertz, the 90 FPS that is usually needed in VR. And right now it has to be added for each game that you wanna play. 20 games are currently supported, even if actually from the drivers, all the games will be supported. But right now we have just the 20 games that NVIDIA tested directly. So we have Battle Wake, Boneworks, Eternity Warrior, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades in Death, Job Simulator, Killing Frog Incursion, L.A. Noir, Lonnie Eco, Mercenary 2, Pavlov VR, or Data, Rec Room, Rick and Morty, Robo Recalls, Rental, Serious Sam VR, Skeet, Space Pirate Trainers, Special Force VR, Spider-Man Far From Home and I'm Coming, the two different demos, and Talos Principle VR and the Soul Keeper VR. For all the other games, maybe let's expect that it's gonna arrive in the future when NVIDIA are gonna test more or when they're just gonna say, well, it works, just, just release it for everybody. Because as I said, developers don't have to touch anything. Everything is already baked in in these drivers. And that's such an impressive thing and amazing to know that it's already ready. So what you need to know about this update is the only cards that support these drivers are the RTX graphic cards. So 2080 Ti, 2080, 2070, 2060, all the ones with the ray tracing. The others don't really support it yet. Maybe in the future, but don't really expect it because of course they're pushing to the new 
graphic cards right now. It's something that you should totally enable for sure because it's much better to have an 8x in the center and all the rest just regular than having everything 8x and run a game in 20 fps for sure. And I think that this is a great news for our VR users because we can start to use the super sampling much much better and use this fix for better rendering and for the future it's going to be great also because when eye tracking as i said every time will become a thing the driver could be applied just to eye tracking data so just put the resolution higher where you actually look at in the center and all the rest will decrease resolution or remain the same to don't have performance yet and also to use better games to have the possibility to to have better graphical intensive games also in VR. I think that overall is a great news and I already set it up and I'm pretty impressed by it and I don't think I'm gonna go back to the regular one because it's just too intensive on the performances. So way to go Nvidia and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, just like, subscribe to the channel for more of VR and more about CES because so many things are coming out right now and we're gonna talk about it a lot in the channel and subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech if you didn't already and I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.